mga kalisi, magandang gabi. At ngayon po is pa po ako ng Tarlac. So dito po ako ngayon dumaan sa may SM Clark. Yung labas po nito is sa may Mabalakat Exit. So ngayon mga kalisi, yung pag-uusapan natin is about sa cornering and then sa pag-overtake. Una, yung sa pag-overtake muna. Uh, bago po kayo mag-overtake is make sure nyo na kaya po ng motor nyo. At saka bago po mag-overtake is kailangan is nakapagpawas na po kayo kung baka sa ano is nakapag-change uh, gear sa low gear. Well, ilagay nyo sa third gear uh, bago kayo mag-overtake. Kasi para po malakas ang hatak. Kagaya po nyan. Corner po yan. Tapos nag-overtake ako sa kanila. So yan, wala naman pong kasalubong kaya nag-overtake po ako. Then, pagdating po dyan is corner na naman. So, ang bilis ko po nyan, gumasok. So, kailangan alam po nyo, ah, uh, banking. Kaya sabi na lang banking sa uh, corner. Wala alam, may alam po kayo sa ganun. Kasi pag wala kayong alam sa ganun bilis, tapos, ah, uh, hindi kayo sanay, or wala kayong tao dito, idea idea is magkakaroon po ng una is pwede kayong mag slide or mag overshoot so kaya yun po and then yun nga po bago kayo mag overtake make sure nyo na walang sa lobong tapos uh, bago mag overtake is magbabawas po kayo to 5th gear to 3rd gear bago naka 5th gear kayo kailangan magbawas po kayo sa 3rd gear bago kayo mag overtake para pagdating niyo sa pag-overtake sa middle ano na kayo. Asa nakapasok na yun sa i-overtake niyo. Is malakas pa yung hatak ng motor niyo. Pag naka third gear or second gear. Ganun lang po 'yun. Tapos uh, check niyo na wala kayong kasalubong bago mag-overtake para hindi po kayo magkaroon ng panggaan. So yun dapat tandaan nyo po yung mga racing at isa pa about sa cornering naman about sa cornering kailangan po is may idea po kayo about sa pagbanking diba? kasi nga pag hindi nyo alam paano or paano may, ano po yung mga basic gaya po ng ano, uh, throttle control braking control at yung isa po is yung eyesight lang alam niyo po yun at saka kayo pong ano, uh, pag change gear kung saan kayo dapat mag change gear o kailan kayo dapat mag change gear pagdating sa corner para pagpasok po sa corner is smooth na spot po yung pasok nyo nandyan na po yung throttle control uh, body position at saka yung eyesight kailangan po alam niyo po yun para po ano uh, may wasan ang pag overshoot tsaka uh, pagdating po sa corner kailangan uh, alam nyo po yung saan kayo papasok yung sinasabi po nilang ano entry at tsaka exit sa corner dapat alam po natin yun kasi nga pag hindi po natin alam yun eh, yun doon ka po nagkakaroon ng pag-overshot o kaya magkaroon ng banggaan kaya dapat po alamin natin yun at ito po ay mayroon po akong uh, share sa inyong video about sa uh, konting tips pagdating sa corner so sana po ay magkaroon po kayo ng idea or matutunan sa isishare kong ito dahil ito po ay makakatulong sa ating sa ating lahat na mga Riders. So ride safe all mga ka racing Enjoy watching Riders will often tell you it's their bike that couldn't handle the bend The truth is most crashes that happen in corners happen because the rider couldn't handle the bend So what can you do to make sure you nail it? And how can your sixth sense help you stay in control? First up, remember the corner doesn't start when you reach the bend. 
It starts before you arrive. So make sure you've got your approach speed right. You should always aim to get your braking done before you enter the corner, never in it. Shed speed on the approach and wind it back on as you exit. The right approach speed is critical because it gives you time to assess and adjust your line. Turn in too early and you run wide on the exit of the corner. Turn in too late and you'll find yourself on the wrong side of the white lines, off the road or heading into oncoming traffic. Get your approach speed right, get your gear right, turn at the right point and the corner should flow naturally. Next, what sort of corner are you heading into? Is it a blind corner? Is it off camber? Is it going to tighten up on you? Or open out and let you get the power down early? Even if you've never ridden it before, one way to work out what the next corner is going to be like is to look for the vanishing point. The point's where the two sides of the road meet up, just here. In general, if it moves away from you as you're going in, it's opening up. If it moves towards you, it's going to be tight. It's not foolproof, but it's a pretty good heads up. Once you're in the bend, remember to keep your head up and look through the corner to where you want to go, because that's where the bike is going to go. Start looking short or fixating on that gum tree at the side of the road and the chances are you're going to be shaking the koalas out of it real soon. And try and stay off the brakes as much as you can. It sounds wrong, but if you've got your turning in point and your approach speed right, you'll be in control and the bike should handle the corners no worries, leaving you free to focus on making a smooth exit. All of these things you can directly affect as the rider, but there are some things you simply have to deal with. The weather, for instance, can really mess up a corner. We all know to be wary of poor visibility and slippery roads when it rains, but bad weather can also increase the risk of debris or standing water remaining in corners long after the event. Stay focused and try to identify issues like these in case you have to adjust your road position or adopt a more cautious riding style. And then there's camber. Generally a corner with positive camber is a good thing. When a corner is higher on the outside and lower on the inside, it means you can lean in less. Gravity works in your favor, forcing you and the bike towards the inside of the curve. This increases the area of your tires that's gripping the surface and helps to keep you on the road. Negative camber on the other hand is a bugger, especially when it's wet or there's debris on the road. Because the corner is lower on the outside, you have to increase your lean angle. Gravity is now working against you, trying to push you to the edge of the road. To counter this effect, just take things a little bit easier on the throttle and you'll maintain grip and control. And remember, the angle of camber can change in a single bend or a series of bends, so never switch off. It sounds like a lot to think about in a split second, but we all do it every day on different types of corners and in different road and weather conditions. By developing and honing your sixth sense, you can improve your cornering technique and you and your bike will both be able to handle the bend.